that they have different things in the Vatican, they would deem they would not deem the apocrypha canon. It's our history, but they would deem Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? As being canon or true because they are pagans. You understand? These laws and commandments was not given to them. Right. It's not even for them to touch this Bible. You understand right. that? Right. These are our laws. At ease. Shalom, Israel. We're Israel united in Christ. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. right. This Bible is your book. This Bible is about you right. and what you need to do to get salvation. Because destruction is coming. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. Bring it up. Bring it up. Destruction is coming to this place. And you brothers and sisters need to know that you are the Israelites. Right. You need to know what's necessary for you to escape the fire. All right? Come on. The book of 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. Bring it out. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. All right, so the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. Let's get, uh, hold that. Let's get Sirach. Is that uh, 5 and 7? The day of the Lord is gonna come in like a thief in the night. And a lot of y'all brothers and sisters think you got time. You think, you know, it's okay, all right, well, I'm not, I'm not gonna repent today. I'm not gonna keep God's laws and commandments tomorrow, yeah. but I'm gonna wait till next week. I'm gonna wait till next year after I get my tax money to make sure I get all my fringes on all my stuff. Yeah. That's foolishness. You might not have the time, all right? It might, the most High might pull your card that day, that week, that year that you decide you want to go ahead and keep God's laws and commandments, and now you're finished. Right. Death has come before you, before you even get to the fire. Go. Ecclesiastic is also known as Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Uh -huh. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, come on. And put not off from day to day. And don't put off from day to day. All right, we understand that you got to wait a matter. All right, there was different organizations uh, come. But right here, we're not an organization. We're an organized nation. That's right. A nation of Israelites coming together to take care of each other. All right. To build each other up. To break down the strongholds in each other's lives. What? You understand that? Come on. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. So suddenly the wrath of the Lord is going to come first. Forth. Just like the nuclear destruction is going to come forth. Suddenly, you right. understand that? All right, you're not you're not gonna be worried about what's going on. All right, things are going on in the news that you don't even look at. You're looking at sports stats. You're worrying about what I'm gonna get uh, my my boot for Valentine's. You you worrying about oh what what I'm gonna cook out on the grill this weekend? Cooking ham hocks and all type of foolishness. Right. All right. Instead of considering your ways. All right. Considering keeping God's laws and commandments. Read on. And in thy security. Thou shalt be destroyed. And in thy security, when you just chill and think everything's all right, then you shall be destroyed. But we are here to teach you to come back to God's laws and commandments so you can avoid that destruction. That's right. So you can avoid being put to death by cancer, by AIDS, by all types of madness. You understand? All right, go back. Uh, was that the end of that? All right, go ahead. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And the day of vengeance. That's the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Let's go back to that in a second, Peter. Hey, Shalom, bro. You know your nationality according to the Bible? You know who you are? All right, come on. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Uh -huh. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. The day of the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. So the Most High God is going to send back Christ to punish the princes, all right, and the people of this land. You understand? Right. They took us into slavery on slave ships. You think he's not going to come back and take care of his children? All right? If you had children, brother, you got children? You got children? I got children. If somebody mess with my children, I'm going to find out who they are, and I'm going to handle them. You understand that? If somebody, if the Most High God, we are God's children. You understand? So the Most High God is coming back to avenge his children. That's the day of vengeance. You always hear Christianity, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You understand that he's talking about the day of his sacrifice? Right. The day that he's coming back to destroy these nations for taking, uh, for putting his children in slavery? Right. For doing all the manner of evil to his children? Come on. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Uh -huh. And the elements, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Boom! Great noise in a matter of seconds. 
You understand? The elements are burned with fervent heat, so it don't matter how deep your bunker is. It don't matter what kind of sandbags you got stacked up. Stacked up. The elements are going to melt away with that nuclear fire, that nuclear destruction. You cannot escape it. The only escape is in this Bible. Right. It's in God's laws and commandments. Come on. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. See it then that all these things shall be dissolved. Uh -huh. What matter of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation in godliness? All right, so sisters, y'all know your nationality according to the Bible? That we are God's chosen people. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. All right. So the Bible just said, have you considered at that day and time in the day of the Lord's sacrifice what manner of person you should be? The manner of person that you should be is a repentant Israelite. Right. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American man. Not nothing else. You can't come back to God under Islam. You can't come back to the Most High God under Christianity. Right. You can't come back to the Most High God under being a Buddhist or Buddhism. Right. You can't come back to the Most High God being an Asiatic black man. Right. You have to stand up in these laws and commandments of the Most High God. That's right. That's Repent. Right. Keep the God's laws. Sis, you know your nationality according to the Bible? You know who you are? All right, uh, let's go to 1 Corinthians 15 and 34. 1 Corinthians 15 and 34. Because we're out, we out here for you, all right? Black man, Hispanic man, Native American man, understand? Because we love you. We want you to repent, keep God's laws and commandments. But to understand that we were taught by our mothers, most of us were raised by our mothers, so we don't understand what it is for a man to actually talk to you with tough love. For a man to actually stand up and say, you know what, bro? You need to fix yourself. Right. Stop doing that to yourself. Stop whoring at your sisters. Stop selling dope to one another. Stop killing each other, fighting each other, struggling over for nothing. If we all at the bottom, what do we gain for killing each other? Nothing. You got nothing, I take nothing from you. What do I got? Nothing. Yo. The only security that you have is in this Bible. These law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. Awake to righteousness. Awake to what? To righteousness. Uh-huh. And sin not. And do what? And sin not. And sin not. So right now, most of us were raised up in churches, and they said, they, they, they gave us a definition of sin, doing stuff against God. But we need to find out what the Bible says sin is. Because most of the time, your Christian pastors, they're not going to go to this Bible and tell you what sin is. They're not going to go to this Bible and show, hey, sis, you got a pants suit on in church. In church, you in sin. Right. Hey, sis, you pregnant without a husband, you in sin. Brother, you sleeping around with that sister and you didn't marry her, you in sin. Right. You understand? So it's certain things that we're supposed to do. We're going to find out what sin is according to the Bible. Come on. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committeth sin, transgressive, also the law whoever commits sin transgress the law of god come on for sin is the transgression of the law for sin is the transgression of the law brother you know your nationality according to the bible you know who you are you know that you're special before the most high god hey shalom bro you know your nationality according to the bible you know your nationality what's your nationality don't know you don't know nope. you know that's prophecy in the bible if you have a moment, say, brother, what's your say, name? Check it out. Reggie. Reggie, I'm your Honiton. I'm Abner. All right, good to meet you, brother. All right, good to meet you as well. All right? So we're going to find out. We're going to find out if the Bible ever said that, all right? Come on. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. So, brother, what's your name again? Reggie. Yeah. Reggie. We're going to read this again, all right? The Most High God is pointing out two animals, Reggie. All right? Come on. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. Now, Reggie, let me ask you something. Is an ox or ass smart animals? Ox. An ox? Uh, an ox like a cow, right? Pretty much. Right. Cows, most of, they, they're led to the slaughterhouse constantly, right? There you go. They're not smart, you understand? Not really. And an ass, you, you load that thing up for burdens, and he just do the work that you tell him to do. You understand? Okay. So these are two dumb animals. These animals are not intelligent, you understand? No. They just do what they're told to do, you understand? Correct. All right, so it says the ox knoweth his owner, 
and the master's, master's crib. So even though that they are dumb, an ox knows who his owner is. You understand? He knows where he belongs. Exactly. And an ass is master's crib. He know where he lives at. You understand? He know where he originates from, where, he's, where, where he lays his head at, where he rests. You understand? Right. All right, come on. But Israel. Hey, Shalom, sis. Right now we're going, we going over uh, our nationality in the Bible, sis. Have you ever been told your nationality? I'm getting ready to go to my God, my grandma, my mother's setting up. She just died. I, okay, I don't she want just to passed. Okay, well, sis, on the back of that flyer, there's information, all right? It goes over your nationality, 12 tribes of Israel, all right? Okay. And also on that website, tons of information I'm computer, and an address. I'm computer illiterate. I You're computer kids. illiterate, yeah. but you can I read that. I ain't dumb, but I'm... Right, right, right. I understand that. Right. But you can read this flyer and go over it with your Bible open, all right? To see if everything is true in there. You understand? Okay, I got you. And then you call that number, all right? And be blessed. All right? You, you call that number and you can come to the class, all right? Okay, baby. To find out your nationality, all right? So, Reggie, you with me? All right. So these two animals, they, they know who their owner is and they know where they come from, all right? Come on. The ox know of his owner, and the ass of Matt's his crib. Uh -huh. But Israel, but, but who? But Israel uh -huh. does not know. My people do not consider. So our people don't even know who they are. They don't even consider. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Reggie, right, you see this sign? You see this sign? You're blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. These are the names on, on this side that they gave us. You understand? They gave us these names. You understand? But it's not who we are. No, all right? It's not our nationality. You understand that? All right? So, hold that. Let's get Psalms 83. Uh, I think it's around verse 3. All right? So, Reggie, the thing is, is that we don't even consider that we may be the children of Israel. Do you understand? No. We're happy to be other nations because the white man say you can still get in under his doctrine. You understand? Yeah. As a brother brought out uh, uh, earlier about uh, the Bible, you understand that they have different things in the Vatican. They would deem they would not deem the Apocrypha canon. It's our history, right. but they would deem Valentine's Day. You understand? Know as being canon or true because right. they are pagans. Yeah. You understand? These laws and commandments was not given to them. Right. It's not even for them to touch this Bible. You understand right. that? Right. These are our laws. They help us govern ourselves. Reggie, you understand that? Yes. All right? So, come on. Is that what I want? Um, um, all right, come on. Psalm chapter 83 and verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people uh -huh. and consulted against thy hidden ones. All right. So they consulted against us, Reggie. You understand? That's who, how, why we don't know who we are. Because the right, the so-called white man is like you change our names. You put us in the cap slavery, captivity, all right. Put us in the slavery, all right. Transatlantic slave trade, you understand? Put us in the slavery, change our names. Not only your so-called blacks, but your so-called Hispanics too. You understand? Right, right. Your your your, your so-called Mexicans, Cubans, those from Argentina, uh, uh, Brazil. You understand? So those are our people as well, you understand? But they change our names, you understand? So that's that's you ever heard the term Reggie? Reggie. Yeah. Alright, alright, good, good. So man, hopefully man, you can share this with him later, man. You understand? But but check this out, man. Check this out, Reggie. So they change our names, right? They it's like they divided us into groups, you understand? So that we can continue to be separate. Alright? Read that scripture again. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Hey, brother, you know your nationality according to the Bible? We're going over scriptures right now showing your true nationality, all right? So what would you say you are that your nationality is or your ethnicity? Blessed, bro. You blessed? That's not a nationality or ethnicity. You understand? That's life. That, hey, that's not life. That doesn't make any sense. So our people, Reggie, right. that's what they come with. They would, Because they don't know, right. to sound smart, they would say something off the wall. You understand? So it's like a lot of times, Reggie, we might get Christian, right. Muslim, right. We, we might get Jehovah's Witness or something strange, an Asiatic black man, because they don't know. You understand? So, all right, brother, brother, the thing is, the thing is, is that that's what our people say. Hey, bro, what's your name? I'm Jaquest. Jaquest? Jaquest. all right. I'm Yohanneton, all right? Now, I used to say the same thing until I found out that this Bible was our book. You understand? We would say we blessed the highly favored of the Lord. He used to say that I was black or African American. 
And when you find out that that's garbage, you say, you know what? I'm not even black. I'm 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 I'm, I'm burnt orange or something. You know, some crazy off the wall, right? You is what you is or whatever, right? We all say that because we don't know. So, the, right, right. You don't know what it is. But it's like you, we claim to be Baptist as our nationality, but ain't baptized nobody. You understand? Sis, you know your nationality according to the Bible? You know who you are? What people you originate from? All right. Uh, read that again, verse 3. Psalm chapter 83 and verse 3. Bring it out. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people uh -huh. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh huh. Because it's like when, when they took us from the west coast of Africa or wherever, wherever we were and they gathered us up or from the Netherlands, you understand, or different places that we were, it's like uh, they consulted against us. They separated us in, into groups, all right? So your so-called Hispanics, they had uh, uh, Spaniards as their captors. So they took on the name Hispanic, you understand? But that's just saying, who was your captors? African-American, it's like, your 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 uh, uh your so-called uh white man gave us that name. You understand? All right, but the thing is, is that Africa comes from Leo Scipio's Africanus. He was a Roman general that conquered the land of Ham during the Second Punic Wars. And America Vespucci was an Italian navigator. You understand that? So he came. He came. America Vespucci. He came over. He was actually a person that uh, drew maps. You understand? So. After Columbus came, Columbus got uh, left out in the Caribbean somewhere. Amerigo Vespucci came in uh, uh, 1493, all right? Came after him, all right, and named his land once he hit the landmass of Osirith, as the officer was going over uh, earlier. Then he named it after himself, you understand? All right, so uh, read on down, verse 4. Verse 4, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. You see that, Reggie? It said, let us cut them off from being a nation. You understand that? So, from being a group of people, you understand? A nation, all right? A nationality, Reggie. You understand that? So, your so-called, uh, uh, your black, your so-called black tribes separate you from the Hispanic tribes, the Native American tribes, and put you in the different groups. They said, hey, let us all come together and cut them off from being a nation. All right, come on. But it's a reason behind that, Reggie, come on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They didn't want you to know that you were the Israelites. Right. They didn't know, want you to know that you were the children of Israel, Reggie. All right, come on. For they have consulted together with one consent. You understand? And they all agree on this thing. That's why they're not going to come and tell you. We're not waiting on the uh, so-called white man to tell, hey, hey, well, by the way, you're the Israelites. You're actually the rulers of this world. And you're supposed to be running everything. You're supposed to be governing this planet and making sure everything gets a, uh, a, a time of rest. You understand? They're not gonna tell us that. Yo, my man, this. Hey, Red, Reggie, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna show you this, Reggie. Hey, Reggie, we got time for you, bro, because we out for you, all right? Say, hey, have a, hey, wait, 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 Reggie, wait, wait, hold, hold on one moment. I still, still want to show you some things, all right, that you have to do, you understand? All right, let's go back, uh, where we at? Okay, all praise. All right, come on. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. All right, so we were showing you earlier, Reggie, that you're supposed to wake up to righteousness. All right, that you sin not. You understand? All right, and we showed you that sin was against Most High God's laws. All right, so we're going to show you something in this Bible. All right, which is God's law book. All right, is is a holy book or called law book. All right, come on. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, mm -hmm. and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Come on. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. All right, so you understand, Reggie? What that means is like you was going to smoke and drink. All right, if you have a beer, Reggie, if, if you have a beer, that's fine. You can drink. You understand? You're just not supposed to get drunk. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. Reggie. I mean, if, 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 if I have a glass of wine or if I have a beer or if I have a... Uh, 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 a cup of uh, of whiskey or whatever, right. you understand? Right. It's like that's not a sin. I know, I know. The sin is actually getting drunk, Reggie. You understand that? I don't get drunk. So you don't you don't get drunk. You no, understand? I, I drink to feel good. That's it. Okay. All right. And then, but the main thing with that scripture is showing you about smoking. 
Reggie, you can stop smoking. You don't need to go smoke because something no, happened with your father, you understand? Cigarettes, no, cigarettes. cigarettes, even if it's cigarettes, you don't have to do that, you understand? Dude, you can stop that. doing that, you understand that? All right, you can stop doing that, all right? So you do that, brother, hey, some of our brothers stop doing that. Reggie, I used to smoke, but you can stop smoking, you understand that? The thing is, is that you gotta love Most High God more than you love that addiction, you understand? Right, right. You gotta love your brethren more than you love that addiction. You understand that thing? Right. right. All right. Cause you, that's somebody that that's somebody that you have to be an example to, Reggie. You understand? Okay. All right. What we got? Let's get. Get what we got. Yeah. Go ahead. So chapter one eighteen verse fifty nine. Uh -huh. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. So this is what you do, have to do right now, Reggie. You have to think on your ways. All right. You have to think on your ways. What am I doing to break God's laws and commandments? All right. What am I doing to break God's law? Hey, Reggie, Reggie, yeah. listen, it's, it's all right, man. Hey, we all did that, bro. We all did that, all right? A lot of us came from out of a lot of filth, you understand that? And you can do the same thing. Our brothers and sisters can do the same thing. This is not a bashing. This is us coming to try to help you get saved, you understand? You understand? Because right now, us growing up in uh, Christianity, we weren't saved. You understand? Right now, our enemies still oppress oppress us. All right. So, hey, we're gonna go over that. Hey, consider your ways, Reggie. Come back to God's laws and commandments, bro. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org